A car crash led to a shooting in Destrian yesterday. Yeah, the St. Charles Parish Sheriff's Office has not said if either of the men, though, involved will face charges. Erica has been busy today. She follows this report on this story in St. Charles Parish. It's, you know, it's very unusual here. You know, it's quiet. This is a quiet, quiet town. You know, no violence. Michael Wadarczyk describes his neighborhood along Villery Drive in Destrehan as safe, friendly, and quiet. But he watched it turn into a crime scene Tuesday afternoon after his neighbor, 51-year-old Michael Wolf, pulled his truck into his driveway. Pulled up in his driveway, nothing unusual. And, you know, the other car pulled behind him. And, you know, once they both got out, they started arguing. And I didn't go over it first because I figured it wasn't my business. And then I heard something about going to shoot you or something. That's when I went over and I got between them, sort of try to break it up. But the altercation escalated. Wadarczyk says the elderly man who followed his neighbor home fired his gun. He just got the gun and he pointed right at his, right at his belly and he just shot him. That man has been identified by the St. Charles Parish Sheriff's Office as 78-year-old Michael Tabry. Detectives say it all started with a car crash about a block over on Ormond Boulevard. Around 4 p.m., detectives say Wolf's truck collided with Tabry's Mercedes. Wolf did not stop after the crash and continued to his home about a block over on Villery Drive across from Cypress Lakes Country Club. Tabry, with his wife in the car, followed Wolf to his home while calling 911. According to detectives, Wolf walked up to Tabry and the two ended up in an altercation leading to Tabry shooting Wolf in the stomach. Eventually that older fellow got back in his car and then Mike was I guess very upset at that point I guess being shot and he tried to get into the car and then he finally got a wrench and broke that window and that's when the guy shot shot him two more times. Tabry was treated on scene for injuries on his face. Wolf was airlifted to a hospital and underwent surgery. He's said to be in stable condition and is expected to fully recover. And that was Erica Ferrando reporting. Detectives are still interviewing witnesses and reviewing video footage. And so far, neither of the men has been booked with any charges.